In the next few minutes, we'll teach you all the important stuff you need to know about UX UI design. We've condensed hours of training into this short but impactful video. By the end, you'll have practical skills you can use right away. Let's dive in. First things first, what is UX UI design? User experience or UX design is about the overall feel of the experience and how a user interacts with a product. UX design is concerned with the entire journey a user takes. This includes understanding user needs, defining user flows, and creating wireframes, among other steps. The primary objective of UX design is to create a product that is intuitive, efficient, and enjoyable to use. User interface or UI design focuses primarily on the visual elements that users interact with on a digital platform. This includes typography, spacing, colors, icons, and other graphical elements. The goal of UI design is to create an intuitive and visually appealing interface that provides a seamless experience for the user. In a nutshell, UX makes an app enjoyable while UI makes it beautiful. And trust me, you need both to create something people will love using. Now let's get into tools. Figma is currently the most popular tool among designers. It's web-based, allows for real-time collaboration, and is easy to learn. One of the first things you'll want to do in any project is set up a frame. A frame is basically your canvas. It's where all your design elements live. With your frame ready, this is where you can start building out your user interface. You can easily add text, shapes, and images. Throughout this video, I'll be designing a marketplace for digital products. This will give you a first-hand look at how to navigate the entire design process from start to finish. Design thinking is a widely used user-centered process with five key stages. Empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. The process isn't linear. You can go back to previous stages as you gain more insights. There are also many more design processes and frameworks that you might come across. Before we jump into the stages of design thinking, it's worth noting that while we're covering all the essentials in this video, there's so much more to learn to master UX UI design. For that, we've created a UX UI design mastery course that covers everything you need to become a professional. We've condensed the best of everything we've learned into this powerful course, drawing from years of experience designing successful products, so you can shortcut that process and save yourself years of frustration. Our course goes beyond just theory. We'll equip you with all the Figma skills you need to create stunning, well-organized, pixel-perfect designs. You can find the link in the description below the video. Now, let's get into the first stage of design thinking. Empathize. Before you design anything, you need to know who you're designing for. You might start with user interviews, where you ask open-ended questions. This allows you to delve into user experiences and needs on a more personal level. The goal is to really get into users' heads and understand their needs, pain points, and what they value. From the data gathered, you can create user personas, user journey maps, affinity diagrams, and much more. The defined stage is where you figure out the main problem you're going to solve. And for that, you need a problem statement. A good problem statement must be specific. A bad example might be, people need a way to sell digital products. It's not specific enough to guide your design process effectively. A better, more targeted problem statement could be, independent creators need a way to reach a wider audience and handle transactions securely when selling digital products. That's specific. It pinpoints a problem and identifies a user group, giving you a clear roadmap for design. So the question you and your team should ask now is, how might we create a digital product marketplace that empowers online creators to reach a wider audience while ensuring secure transactions? Here, we're entering the ID8 stage. The goal is simple. Come up with as many ideas as you can. Use whiteboards, sticky notes, or digital tools like Miro to quickly write down all your ideas. Some designers also start creating wireframes during the ideation stage. The main purpose of wireframes is to define the dimensions and placement of page elements, information architecture, intended behaviors, and navigation. You can begin with either low-fidelity or mid-fidelity wireframes. Low-fidelity wireframes are quite basic, focusing primarily on layout and functionality. They serve as the skeleton of your design and are perfect for rough drafts and quick internal discussions. Mid-fidelity wireframes are more advanced, including UI elements like buttons, input fields, and placeholder text, while still avoiding details. As your ideas start taking shape and you narrow down your choices, you'll want to transition to high-fidelity wireframes that closely mirror what the final design will look like, making them ideal for detailed user testing. 
You can kick off user testing during the ideation or prototyping stage, but it's generally more valuable when you test with high fidelity wireframes. If the feedback is positive and aligns with your objectives, you're ready to transform these high fidelity wireframes into actual designs. This is where things get exciting. The core difference between a high fidelity wireframe and a prototype is interactivity. This includes clickable buttons, transitions, and even complex animations. Now's the time to finalize the user interface, add the colors, fonts, and other design elements that will make your design visually appealing. After your prototype is ready, go for another round of user testing. Often, how a user interacts with a complete prototype can reveal issues that weren't apparent in the wireframe stage. Usability testing is your go-to method for this. During these tests, you can observe real users as they navigate through your product. The goal is to identify any parts of your design that could be confusing or hard to use. Once you've conducted usability testing and made any necessary adjustments to your design, the next step is the developer handoff. This is where you transition your designs into something that can be implemented by your development team. To ensure a smooth handoff, you'll need to prepare user interface specifications. They should include detailed information about the dimensions, spacing, responsiveness, and interactive elements in your design. Essentially, it's a comprehensive guide that enables developers to bring your vision to life with code. Finally, the designs are ready for implementation. Developers will now use the UI specs to start building the actual product, turning what was once a series of wireframes and high-fidelity designs into a fully functional digital product. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content on UX UI design.